Question three from the National Five um, 2018 physics paper is actually quite tricky. A ball is thrown vertically upwards and reaches a maximum height. So let's imagine the ball starts down here and it's thrown upward and it reaches a maximum height at this point here. Now what you might know um, from physics is that whenever the ball reaches a maximum height its velocity becomes zero at that point. It's at rest and then it will start to fall back, back down again and speed up on the way down. So you might think at that point, because it's at rest, there are no forces on it. Well, that's not true. Just because it's it's stationary at that point does not mean that gravity has stopped um, acting on the ball. And the ball will eventually come back down again. Well, well when I say eventually, it will immediately come back down again. And so therefore, there has to be a downward force acting on the ball. So there's a downward force acting on the ball, and that is the force of gravity. So question three from the 2018 National 5 Physics paper is actually quite a tricky one. The idea is about a ball being thrown vertically upwards. So let's just draw a green ball over here. It starts at rest and it's thrown upward and it reaches a maximum height, say, up here. And that's quite a bit away. And at the point where it reaches its maximum height, the velocity of the ball at that point is zero. It is, as we say, at rest. So the question is, is the ball, um, does the ball have any forces acting on it at that point? Well, if it didn't have any forces acting on it, it would just stay there. So there has to be a force. There has to be a downward force due to gravity. So we'll call that the force of gravity. Or weight, as we would normally call it. And so that's acting downward at that point in time. So let's go through the options and see which is correct. There's no vertical force on the ball, A. Eh? Well, that's clearly incorrect. There's only horizontal forces on the ball. Well, it's not moving horizontally left or right. It was never moving that way. So that's also incorrect. There is an upward force acting on the ball. Well, if there was, it would maybe accelerate upwards. So that cannot be correct either. The forces on the ball are balanced. Uh, part D, well, if the forces are balanced, then it would stay there. It would be at rest or it would be moving at constant speed. It's never at constant speed anywhere in the motion here. It's always either accelerating or decelerating. And then finally, uh, there is only a downward force acting on the ball. So that is the correct option. So E, we will say, is our right answer because that force is the force of gravity.